do have a troubling costume controversy surrounding the holiday of Purim, when children usually dress up in historical characters to celebrate the survival of the Jewish community in ancient Persia. In Lakewood, New Jersey, a small group of children was photographed dressed in blackface and Afro wigs. News Force Phil Lipoff joins us live with the details, Phil. Guys, as you point out, there is a large Jewish population here in Lakewood. Most we spoke with today say they do not want the actions of a few kids to define the whole group. And David, as you point out, traditionally when kids dress up on Purim, they dress up as characters from the Purim story, from the Bible, like Esther and uh, Haman, not Black Lives Matter members. The pictures were taken Friday. Small group of white children, four from what we can tell, dressed like this at a Purim celebration here in Lakewood. Listen, that took some effort. For you to have on dashikis, Afro wigs, and blackface, that took effort. Effort also to write Black Lives Matter on the back of their shirts. A Lakewood woman says she took the photos and posted them on her Facebook page. Fred Rush is the president of the Ocean County NAACP. He drove over to where the pictures were taken to see for himself. He says he saw the costumes and told the parents how they made him feel. I just say this is offensive. And uh, I would hope you would take the time to teach your kids because it's offensive not only to me but to a lot of people. Their reaction? He says, oh, no problem. I understand, but that was it. However, it was enough to force a virtual school board meeting on the subject. We don't know if it's Lakewood children. Michael Inzelbuck is general counsel for Lakewood. He's also Jewish. While he doesn't know the identity of the children involved, he did explain that Purim is a holiday marked every year by kids dressing up. However, he made no excuses for dressing like this. It's unacceptable. And we can have something, even if it's only one, two, three, four, it, can't, it shouldn't happen at all. So while everyone agrees the costumes were offensive and should never be worn again, especially to celebrate a holiday, the question is, how do you make that happen? Fred Rush says it's all about education. Teach your kids. Let them know that what they're doing today could be offensive to other people. That's what I do with my kids. Well, the school board agrees. While there is no way to punish these kids, nor would they want to in this case because it wasn't on school grounds, they do say that they would like to talk to the kids' parents, explain to them why this was so offensive and hurtful. We're live in Lakewood. Phil Lipoff, News 4 New York.